Don't tell me it isn't possible when I happen to know for a fact that Dr. Hayes teaches an intro to music lit class on Fridays at 8 a.m. Oh, fool, is it? Well, I'm not sure if you happen to know who my father is, but he's been very generous to this universe. You're only gonna last me, not by a long shot. Ricardo. You believe that? I'm sorry? I don't expect anyone who's placed to graduate early. I don't know. Well, I can assure you my father will be writing a very strongly worded check. Uh-huh. Name's Steve. Ricardo. Ricardo. Maybe it what is it? What is it, man? I'm sorry, dude. I gotta go. Say, Ricardo! You ever done any modeling? No. Shame. You have this look that would complement my portfolio. What's it? Bye. I choose you to do. Hey, I can't come to the phone right now, but Lee. What are you doing? I'm recording a voicemail thing. Oh. Why are you calling my woman? Oh my god, Ricardo. Hey, there he is. New episodes out. I haven't watched it yet. If you want to know. He hasn't said anything? No. And it's been almost two weeks. The man has the resolve of a Himalayan monk. It's really quite impressive. This is crazy. You guys have always been so close. You didn't tell me about it. One second it's business as usual, and the next he's freaking out on me. To be fair, Steve, with you, business as usual can be pretty unusual. I don't follow you. Let's face it, your lives aren't exactly chill. Constant antics can wear a person out. That and Catherine leaving him. He blames me. Yeah, I know it. Is this really about Ricardo, though? What do you mean? I don't know. I think you crave a sidekick. Someone to be your audience while you act fool. Sorry. For the longest time, Ricardo has been that for you. You know what I mean? I think I know exactly what you mean. I need someone who's gonna follow my lead. A new protege. You're a genius, Deirdre. Yeah, this is what I meant. All right, let's get this show on the road. First up is... Hi, such an honor to be here. Uh, big, big fan. What you got, Reggie? Oh, God, uh, okay. Here goes nothing. Is this your card? Hi, Cummings, but... You knew that, didn't you, sweetheart? Hey, Steve. It's been a while. Jerry, how you been, man? How's the wife? Well, she's staying at her sister's house right now, and I've been laid off from work, but at least there's no more corporate bondage. You got any jokes? <laughs> well, hello there, Stephen. Dr. Hames! Connor Seamus Haynes, five feet eight inches tall, reading for the part of Ricardo. I have done you the honor of preparing an excerpt for my award-deserving erotic novella titled Moist Lilac. If at any point during my reading you feel the need to swoon, you may do so. But please, 
do not let your moans distract from my performance. The one thing I'm not down with is heckling. Alakazam. Sorry. Alakazam. Uh, you guys have had your rabies shots, right? Unable to resist her urges, the woman in white saunters over and removes her wealthy suitor's sports coat, followed by his vest, before unfastening his suspenders. She makes quick work of his sock garters. He's, he's wearing a lot of layers. Uh, Jerry, did you have anything you want to share? I, Steve, I miss your touch. Oh no. I miss your magic fingers. It's, uh, it's not really that kind of... Please! I think I, I don't want to, I mean, I think I have to do it. You don't. What choice do I have? Literally anything about this. Deirdre, what would Jesus do? I don't think that applies in this situation. Got a possible tip about a 37.15. Who's Bunny Rabbit? Oh, uh, I think we've got it handled. I cannot find him. This is bad. What's going on here? We're having auditions for my new lackey. Oh, this lackey. Would you consider him a friend? I mean, I guess. So whoever you hired could proclaim in all honesty they have a friend. Yeah. Hmm. Give me all your energy! Ooh. Took your soul, but I'm gonna give it back because we're friends. My fault, Steve. <laughs> I ruined my life. There, there, buddy. <laughs> Let her down. Let her down. Oh, uh, hey, Deirdre, what's up? What you doing? Um, on my way to class. Uh, I always come through here. I definitely didn't know anything about Steve's best friend audition. Uh-huh. Are you ready to get some makeup yet? 
it's just really starting to drag on. No, he's still in the wrong. You two are best friends. And frankly, you're both acting like children. Steve's a lot. You've always made it work before. Steve is a sinking ship and I'm not gonna be tied down to him anymore. Catherine wasn't his fault. I know. Well, I'll admit, it wasn't the turnout I was hoping for, but, uh... This is stupid! What? <laughs> I mean, seriously, Steve. This is so stupid! This isn't something that can just be fixed by one of your schemes! Schemes? This was your idea! No! It wasn't, Steve! Like always, you heard what you wanted to hear, and it exploded into something bigger than you could handle. Oh, so what? You're on his side? Are you going to leave me too? Hey, this is Catherine. Sorry I missed your call, but leave a message and I'll try my best to get back to you. Uh, David. Hey, bud. What's up? Uh, you know. Uh, how you doing, man? Uh, how's New York? Loud. I miss you guys, though. How's Steve? Loud. <laughs> Catherine? Um, she broke up with me. What? What happened? Um, things were moving too fast for her. At least that's how she put it. I guess I wasn't her type after all. I'm sorry, man. Deirdre did not tell me about that. Should have known she'd call you. Yeah. Well, I hear, uh, something's going on with you and Steve. Yeah, well, you know how Steve is. He's a lot to handle. But somehow you always manage to put up with him. I mean, better than I could. Yeah, well, not anymore. I'm tired of being his keeper. Look, I get where you're coming from. But the bottom line is, he needs you, man. And you need him. Maybe now more than ever. Sorry, but you're wrong, David. I don't need him. In fact... I'm a lot happier now without him. You know, I, I thought I might be too. And for a week, give or take, <laughs> it was nice not to deal with any of Steve's antics. But it took me that long to realize that even in this dense city with so much to do, I mean, opportunity around every corner, I had never been so bored. I started wishing you and Steve were here to make life just a little more interesting. Yeah. Guess you have a point. Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> you don't want to lose your girlfriend and your best friend in the same week. You know what's got to happen, right? Yeah. Thanks, David. Uh, hey, uh, it was great seeing you. Uh, I gotta go, man. You can do this. Hey. We still not talking? No. 
Because I got something to say. Yeah? First. You said a lot the other week, Ricardo, that I don't think about anyone but myself. That I was selfish. Look, no, shut up. For a second, Ricardo. Because every stunt I ever pulled, I only pulled because I wanted to help. I, I wanted to help you, or Deirdre, or David, or Dr. Hames, or Reggie, or Cummings, or I don't know, God knows who. Because I care. And maybe sometimes it blows up in our faces. And maybe sometimes we end up arrested or with a gangly lunatic in our house trying to steal our stuff. But every single time my intentions were good. Every single time. Then one day I accidentally sent an email to the wrong place and my best friend pulls the rug out from under me and decides he's never gonna speak to me again. You know, I haven't always had a lot of people in my life I can count on, Ricardo. But I always thought you were the exception. Turns out, I have options. It's open. Oh, hey, Ricardo. All right, Chief. Uh, you ready to go, Steve? Charger's right here. Yeah. Thanks, uh... Let's go. You know, not for nothing, Ricardo, but, uh... You never had to come along. Every scheme, every escapade, you chose to go. Who's the more foolish, Ricardo? The fool or the guy who follows him? Yes, sir. I told her. She wouldn't. Yes, I said the thing about you being a generous donor. Well, you're still gonna come to my play, right? Oh, no, I forgot about that retreat. No, it's no big deal. There'll be more. Probably. Definitely. Yes. And sir? Thank you for everything. I love you. Hey, Steve, right? The one and only, boy -o. That old hag give you the run around, too? No, actually, uh, went very well. Should be a spoon of four years. What did you say? Hey, um, about to go grab dinner with a friend. You want to join? Well, <laughs> normally I'd be conferring with my constituents right about now, but as it happens, they all make themselves scarce for the so, sure. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to go to the pizza place down the street. Pizza, pizza. Did you know, Ricardo? Give him Ricardo. Yeah. Did you know, Ricardo? There's actually a type of bird that gets shredded portions of corn. Yeah. 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 Yeah
more toward the opposite and uses them to show they're in a man. Yeah. You did? You did that? Really? Uh, What's it called? Okay, well, it's called the Bower Bird, and they live in Australia. 